LLC is typically the most talked about business structure when it comes to small businesses because of the flexibility and the liability protection. But is an LLC the best business structure for you? That is why in this video, I am going to break down the things that you need to be thinking about when starting an LLC and why an LLC may not be the best business structure for you. But before we jump in, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of this wealth building information. Now, let's get after it. LLCs have tax complexity that many of you may not understand. The first thing you need to consider is that if you are operating a business within an LLC, you need to file a Schedule C if you are a single member LLC or a Form 568 if you are a multi-member LLC. And in addition to that, you also have to make sure that other members that are inside of your LLC have to also acquire their financial information, social security information, date of birth, name and address, so you can issue them a K-1 at the end of the year. There is a lot of complexity around it and you need to understand it before you jump into an LLC. Cost and fees of operating an LLC are not minuscule. They can add up very quickly. The first thing you have to understand is that you're gonna have to pay additional costs to have your tax return prepared. If you are preparing a 1040 as a single member LLC, then you're gonna have to pay for an additional form to be added in to your personal income taxes. If you are filing a Form 1065, you're going to have to pay for a Form 1065 to be prepared. And that form is going to be due 30 days before the typical tax deadline of April 15th. LOCs are due March 15th. And you have to also realize that some states have minimum fees to operate an LLC. So make sure you understand all the costs that you're gonna incur by forming an LLC and be prepared to cover those costs every single year. Limited growth potential is one of the other reasons why you may not want to form an LLC. When you are thinking about starting a business, one of the requirements that you need to consider is how big you want your business to be. How do you wanna operate your business? When you are dealing with LLCs, if you want to get funding, you may need to be inside of a C corporation so that you can raise capital for your business. If you're looking to bring on other members inside of your LLC, realize that those members are going to be contributing to your LLC. They're gonna be getting paperwork from your LLC and most members are going to want to have some say over what happens inside of your LLC. So if you're looking to grow your business, I'm not so sure an LLC is your answer. When you have an LLC, you need to also consider the administrative burden. The administrative burden means every other year, depending on what state you formed your LLC in, you need to make sure that you're updating your statement of information. You need to make sure that you're filing your income taxes on time. You need to make sure that if you have employees on payroll inside of your LLC, that you are doing the payroll tax returns every single quarter. You need to make sure you're issuing 1099s at the end of the year and acquiring your vendor's social security numbers or EIN numbers. And you want to make sure that you have adequate books and records. So don't take lightly the administrative burden of running an LLC. Many of you think if you form an LLC that you're going to have a limited liability protection. That is not true. You will have liability protection if you run your business like a business, if you separate yourself from the business. Many LLC owners get themselves into trouble because you personally guarantee loans, because you're doing things out of your personal bank account. When you're doing that, you're co-mingling funds and you are gradually taking away your liability protection. If you want to have liability protection through an LLC, you have to have separate books and records. You have to have a separate bank account. 
You cannot guarantee any loans, and you have to make certain that when you are doing business as an LLC member or manager, that you are conducting yourself as one and not as an individual, because that is how LLC owners get themselves into liability trouble. Operating agreements and management of an LLC are very important. An operating agreement actually states how your LLC is going to be operated. Who is going to be in charge of what? What is the LLC is going to be doing? Where are you going to open up the bank account? If you only have two members in your LLC, which members decide what things? If you can't agree on anything, then you're going to be at a 50-50 split and will get nothing done. Therefore, the operating agreement should actually resolve those issues by saying, this person will decide on financial situations. This person will decide on whether we infiltrate new markets. It's so important to have a detailed operating agreement, especially when it comes to how you will exit the LLC. What happens if you guys break up as partners and no longer want to be together in that LLC? Having a detailed ironclad operating agreement means that your business is going to be built on a strong foundation. Let's not forget the state-specific rules. Whether you open up that LLC in Delaware, Wisconsin, Florida, California, each state has its unique rules. Not only do you have to consider how the federal laws are going to go, but you also have to consider how the state laws are going to go. For example, the state of California requires you to update your statement of information every other year. The state of California requires you to pay an $800 minimum tax in the second year of doing business. Understanding all the state requirements is mission critical. And understanding if you have members that are from other states and you're paying them, do you need to file those state returns as well? These are all the considerations that you need to think about when you are forming an LLC, which is why an LLC may not be the appropriate entity for you. Whether you should start an LLC or not hinders upon a lot of things. It hinders upon liability protection, administrative burden, the cost to run. It hinders around state regulations. It hinders around operating agreements, whether you want to get funding or not get funding. There's a lot of considerations. Make certain that you go through all these considerations before you establish an LLC. Because once you open an LLC, you have to turn around and close that LLC if you choose to not have it, which is gonna cost you additional money. Most business owners that are starting out cannot afford to make mistakes and spend extra money when that could be money they're putting back into their business to grow their business. But now that you know better, you absolutely have to do better. That is why I want you to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this wealth building information. Now, go get after it.